Hey guys, what's up? So for a really long time, I've been wanting to um, read Beowulf the story or watch a movie or, or something about this story because I, I kept hearing about it. It was an old Norse tale. I think Norse mythology is pretty cool. It was an old Viking story back, I think, like the early 50, like, like 500 AD or something like that is when it was written. Um, and they're not really sure, like, who wrote it, uh, where, was it the Vikings, or was it people in England that wrote it, so, but it, it really does, it, it's about the Vikings, and it really does talk about a lot of the things, you know, the morals and the things that the Vikings kind of held dear, their, their, their views, their morals, their ideas, and stuff like that, you know, are all encased in this story. And so, years ago, I bought this book. And it's a really thin little pamphlet book, right? And um, so I'm, I'm trying to read it, right? And I was, I was like, oh, I'm going to read the story of Beowulf. It's not a long story. I, I can read this. It's pretty fast, right? And I'm reading it, and it's written in Old English. <laughs> like, it's not re written in modern English, and it's really, really hard to understand. It's really hard to read. You could, because it's like Old English is like, you get the gist of it, but it's not written in the modern language. And so, uh, in 2007, or something like that, I think it was 2007, whatever the date it was, um, was a film called Beowulf. And this is an animated feature. And they put it on Netflix now, so I checked it out on Netflix because it was there. And I was like, oh, I never heard of this, this film, let me check it out. It's Beowulf, but it's in an animated feature. Animated features are great, and this one had, was computer-generated animation. And it's really interesting. I read a little bit about it on, on Google, and it was like um, uh, co-written by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman was the guy that wrote um, the Sandman series, <clears throat> the Sandman series on um, uh, the comic book. You know, it was a huge, huge, long-running series, and it's one of the best comic book series of all time. It's really, really, it's also one of my favorite. I think I read, I read almost up to the end of it. Toward the end, it wasn't that great anymore, but the whole series was great. You know, there's like, there's about 10 different trade paperbacks. So I, I really do recommend checking it out if you like comics and you like Neil Gaiman, or if you've never heard of Neil Gaiman, if you like comics, check out Sandman by Neil Gaiman. So Neil Gaiman partly co-wrote this story. Now, the thing is, it's like he didn't actually co-write it. Uh, it was actually written already for a really, really long period of time. But I think he wrote, he just turned it into a movie and he wrote the movie. And the movie was actually pretty accurate. It was a pretty accurate story. They didn't change a lot of stuff around to make it more cinematic or whatever. They told the story pretty much as the story was told um, in the old Norse language and the old Norse you know, folklore and traditions. It, it pretty much told it accurately. And um, so it was about this monster, Grendel, who basically terrorizes um, this Viking clan's mead hall. You know, it's where the mead hall is sort of like their hangout spot, the big longhouse, you know, like a big um, kind of like cabin where they hang out and they drink and they party and, you know, it's where they get together. And, yeah, because back in the day, I mean, you pretty much... Um, farmed or worked the land or do, did some kind of, you know, created stuff or made stuff. And then at night, you know, when it was like you couldn't really work because the sun wasn't out anymore and you couldn't really see that much because all you had was like fire and candles, you know, where it was this meat hall. And they would just hang out and drink at night and party. Basically, like every night they would party, which sounds pretty amazing to me. But, you know, that, that that's the Vikings. Well, the thing about the Vikings is they didn't just, like, work the land and stuff like that. They also raided other, you know, other uh, clans or other tribes or whatever whatever they were or civilizations. They kind of raided other, other civilizations and stuff like that. But that's not what the story was about. The story was not about them raiding other civilizations. It was about this monster who was, like, raided them, killed their people, um, and, you know, kind of like, you know, they it just crashed their party, basically. And so, um, and so they were, you know, they pretty much got attacked and, like, half of them were killed and whatever. And this hero, Beowulf, came came by, heard that they have a monster, and said, well, you know, I, I can kill this monster and whatever it is. Um, and it goes into it, and then the rest of it, I don't want to spoil anything about it, but it's, it's really, really interesting. So the monster's mother 
was actually played by Angelina Jolie, which is pretty cool, because when I watched the movie, the, the, the um, animated series, the animated movie, it was only an hour and a half long. It's pretty much, it's pretty like, I'd recommend watching it. It's pretty cool. It's a really nice way to take in that story, and it's really not done really well. The acting is good. The, the voiceovers are good, the graphics, the computer-generated graphics are really, really good. There's dragons, there's a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, there's monsters, there's a lot of cool stuff in it. I think it's a good way to tell that story. Because you could kind of just, like, read it, but, hey, they made a movie on it. So, you know, it's just another way to take in a story that's more visual, it's more cinematic, it's more, like, interesting. Whereas maybe, like, the story written will give you more facts and more, you know, it, but it... it it might speak to your imagination directly, but, you know, like a movie is just visual. It's a, it's a whole thing. Someone had to, like, do the artwork and all that stuff. So it's just a very, very well done movie. Um, and Angelina Jolie is basically the monster's mother. And when I saw her in the movie, I was just like, you know what? She looks a lot like Angelina Jolie. But I was like, that can't be Angelina Jolie because it's an animated movie. But the, the character, the way she looked, was based on Angelina Jolie, who, in the movie, basically she walked around naked the whole time. But she didn't look naked. She was, like, covered by... She, she, she had this gold body covered by some kind of wetness, like some kind of water or something like that. So, and she would kind of, like, hover and, like, float and, and kind of, like... She wouldn't stand or anything. She'd be in the water and she'd float and whatever. It's a very interesting monster. Because you, the, when, when Beowulf meets the monster, it's not what you think. It, it's like, you know, um, she's not necessarily a monster. And when, you know, and, and, and it, she has feelings. And it's really interesting because, like, Grendel the monster also has feelings. And she has feelings and stuff like that. And, you know, so when they revolted, when they, when they came back at the monster, you know, it, it was obvious that this monster really, really did feel you know, sadness and pain and, and was hurt by the Norse men who, you know, rebelled, who, by Beowulf, who decided to, you know, basically you know, kill the monster for them, you know. But at the same time, it was a monster and the monster was killing their, their people. And it was an interesting situation. It's not your cut and dry, good versus evil, this is good, this is evil, because it's like, well, who's good and who's evil? And even, like, the really good people in the story had an evil side. And even the evil people in the story had a good side. And it was just such a weird thing to see, like, the good side of the monster and the evil side of the hero, you know? It's not just, like, the hero's good, the monster's bad, we kind of know it. It's interesting because it was, like, it talks about the good side of the monster but the and also the evil side, or not necessarily evil, but the negative, the, the, the basically the evil side, the dark side of the of the hero and then and, and, and the people that were kind of innocent, you know, in the whole thing. Really interesting story. Um, it's good if you like Vikings, if you like Viking culture, Norse mythology. <laughs> um, actually, interesting enough, also Neil Gaiman, who they said they wrote, I don't know to what degree he wrote the story, but he also did make a book or a story called Norse mythology. So he's also into this stuff, and it was really, really well written, and it's really well done, and the graphics were cool, the effects were cool, the art direction was really good, and, and they, they had pretty good quality computer-generated effects, computer-generated graphics. It was really good quality, um, and it was fun. It was an interesting movie. It was very accurate to the, what it was supposed to be saying, and um, it was very interesting how also... It was accurate to the Norse and how they lived and, and the whole civilization and what their, their culture and their whole, their people were like and, and what it was like back then and what people thought and how they spoke and whatever. And it's written in English. You know, it's not written in old English, so you can really understand what people are saying. They translated it really, really well from whatever original language it was in to modern English so you can understand. They didn't speak in old English. That's weird to understand. It was modern English. So, yeah. So that was um, Beowulf on Netflix. I really recommend. Check it out. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Click the bell if you want to be notified when I make another video. Share the videos if you want with friends. And I will see you guys in another video later.